Okay, so we just got done going through all of the, my rules for a structured walk, and we've added a martingale collar and added the special twist of the leash. We took our time at the door because uh, Gizmo likes to run around and be Gizmo. So, but because we have a set of stairs here, this affords us an opportunity to practice a little bit of leash training on the stairs. So as you're going down the stairs, you're, it's at your pace, not at his pace. And if he whines or whimpers, we're gonna ignore that. Um, and then when, it, and I, I'm gonna have you take about three, two, three or four steps and I want you to stop short. And if any time he goes ahead of you, you're gonna do a quick jerk. Go ahead. That was great. He's pacing you. You're holding your arm back a little bit, which we prefer not to do. Remember, make sure it's going straight down. You're doing great. Now he's he's sniffing, and you're stopping. Now, yeah. if you want to stop in your own accord, that's fine. I know I'm explaining things. That was a good correction. That was another good correction. I know. Sorry. No, no, this is no, this is fine. That's what you're supposed to do. So let's just walk down. We'll walk around that light post down there. This is nice. Usually I have to worry about getting hit in the street and I can't get close and I can't get far enough from the client so they can see their arm. Come on. A little bit sharper. You're doing more of a pull. I want more of a snap. And try to do it without pulling his paws off the ground. Oh, without? Okay. Yeah. So you're a little bit late. Oh, okay. Just kind of like a jerk. Yeah. Like that? yeah, that was better. Pop it again. There you go. Pop it. A little bit harder. Harder. I'm gonna have you be my cameraman for a sec. Yeah. Let me have the leash real quick. Let me show you. Oh, that was a great sit, buddy. Sit. All right, so we're doing the right. Yes, I know you want to go pee on that post. So I'm just gonna walk back and forth. Up. He's gonna to push to see, can he get ahead of me? Once I establish, see how his ears are back? Once I establish, I'm not gonna allow it. If he wants to go sideways, I don't really care about sideways. But you were doing more like me. Okay. So the slowness allow, you know, is what's causing him to see how he's going ahead. So sit. There you go. Try it again. Three counterclockwise. So put 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 your loop. Uh, put your hand through the uh, Y first. Oh. Nope. Nope. Ah. This is, we're gonna have it on film now. <laughs> so now go clock counterclockwise three times. <laughs> no. So put, put your hand around the Y. Okay. Like that? Nope. Like, <laughs> put your hand straight down and then have it going towards the dog. Now go around. There you go. Now to undo to get it the other way, you would go counterclockwise three times. Alright, so let's go ahead and we're gonna walk around that uh, trash can. Pop it. Pop it. And don't stop when you pop. Pop it. There you go. Now, if he wants to keep his nose down, that's fine, as long as he keeps moving. Now, if you run across something and he wants to pee on, don't avoid it. Walk right next to it and, be, and watch him be ready to pop. Now, your intensity of your pop, let's turn around and come back. Or let's just go on the, uh, across the street and we'll take the sidewalk back up. So that was, he was trying to mark and you didn't, you just kept going. So if you can see it, I give a, pop, a sharp pop at the same time. Pop it. Now let's go back on the sidewalk. Oh, I guess there's not very really much sidewalk there. Yeah. How does it compare to normal? What, this? Yeah. Um, I know you're having to do a lot of corrections, but is it? It's pretty normal, I think. Do you feel like you have more control, though? Yeah, like okay. it's, because I can do the leash at the length that I want it, then it's easier. Now, I'm going to have you walk a little, walk on the straight line right there. Every time, no, uh, no, this one right here on the oh, pavement. Got it. So as soon as he walks in front of you, I want to do a complete 360. Right now, 360. Around, keep going. Roll. Yep, there you go. Now keep walking the straight line. 360. Do it again. Do it. Is this yeah, you're, no, you're doing fine. So as soon as the dog starts getting ahead of you, if he's not listening to your corrections, do a complete 360. You when, he, when you get done, he's that back in your hip. Now do another one. And he's like, this chick is crazy. She's doing circles. But what it is, is I have to pay attention to the human because sometimes she just does a circle for no apparent reason. Well, if your timing is good enough, eventually it's not no apparent reason, it's because I'm in front. But he wants to be in front. So if he's not gonna give it up to you, you have to tell, you have to show him that you have it under control. That's great right there. 
That looks beautiful. Let's come down this way. I like that. That was a great correction. Your timing was perfect. And, and, and because your timing is good, he's staying on uh, his shoulder is aligned with your hip. Does that feel a little bit better? Yeah. It'll get better the more you I'm practice just trying it. To, like, trying to figure out where exactly. Well, remember, okay, so, to... so basically, his chest should not exceed right. your torso. And the other thing, the other sometimes the other thing I'll say, the dog, dog's nose should never exceed the tip of my shoe as, as, on my forward stride. Okay. But as you do this, this is a little bit awkward for you because this is different. I've done it a lot. Yeah. After you've done it a, a couple of days, you'll be amazed. In a couple of days, you'll be like, you, know, you just be doing it all, <laughs> and the dog will be staying right there. And after a while, you don't have to correct because the dog understands. Every time I try it, she's on. She's already on. All right.